While this show is all about grains, I didn't want to leave out those who have gluten intolerance or have decided to go on a gluten-free diet. You see, gluten is the protein part of wheat, rye, barley, and other related grains. Some people can't tolerate gluten when it comes in contact with the small intestine. This condition is known as celiac disease. There's a common misconception that celiac disease is simply a food allergy. Ask Dr. Jeremy Bufford of the Arkansas Children's Hospital to explain the difference in celiac disease and common food allergies such as oral allergy syndrome. My name is Jeremy Bufford and I am a pediatric allergist at Arkansas Children's Hospital. So the most common food allergens are to milk, egg, wheat, soy, peanuts or tree nuts, fish and shellfish. And there are major allergen proteins in these foods that the body develops an abnormal immunologic response to. There are uh, skin testing procedures that can be done or blood testing. And these uh, test procedures look specifically for the uh, IgE antibody uh, to food proteins. Patients with oral allergy syndrome can usually tolerate these uh, fruits and vegetables in their cooked form because the cooking process breaks down or denatures the protein uh, so that it is not recognized by the body. Someone with uh, food allergy needs to be very cautious about the food they put into their body. We caution patients to read labels very carefully uh, in the grocery store to make sure they're not including a food in their diet that they uh, have an allergy to. Mm -hmm.